What is up my dudes, Kevin here and we are back with a brand new Red Dead Online video and in today's video I have a crazy money making method for you guys where basically we're going to be drop kicking fish So if you guys enjoy this at any moment or if it's helpful, remember to drop a like on the video and comment down below How's your guys 2019 going? How's your new year starting off? And uh, other than that guys, subscribe to the channel and let's waste no more time Alright, so like I said guys, I have a crazy money making method for you guys today like I said earlier, we're pretty much going to be kicking fish in the heads and getting a whole bunch of money for it. Now, I found this method by pretty much seeing two other people do this. I was around this area looking for some new fishing spots like I usually do before I record a video. And I saw some guys literally just running back and forth through this little pond and picking up fish as they go. I didn't think it was going to be that efficient at first until I went and tried it myself. And you can actually get a large amount of fish by doing this. So start this off you guys want to come on down to stillwater creek and right at this little area that is pretty much detached from all these other little rivers or creeks and once you're here it's going to look like this guys you'll see some fish in the water if you do not what you want to do is just take out your fishing rod and they'll start spawning in kind of like the fountain method in saint denise it's pretty much the same exact thing actually except just a different body of water and a different technique to get the fish now again, I'm not too sure who the founder of this method actually is. If there's a video out there, I, I wasn't able to find one. Let me know in the comments down below and I'll give them a shout out. I'll give them some credit. So I'll uh, make sure you guys do that if you do know who it is. But let's get this started. Once the fish are spawning in, all you want to do at this point is run towards the ripples. So just like this. It's simple, super simple. You're going to kick them in the head just like that. And you'll see once you do, some of them are going to start going to... Look, look, right here, right here. They're going to start going crazy and just start swimming onto shore i'm not really sure you don't even really have to even kick them or hit them you just have to run by them and they're going to start going up onto the shore now as you guys can see here a ridiculous amount of fish have just spawned in i mean a little ridic i think you guys can all agree this is absolutely ridiculous this is actually like, I'm actually mind blown by this right now. This is way more than I've actually had many fish in. I think I just found a little secret. All I did was, first I put on my lake lure, I casted that in the water, then I switched to my river lure and casted that in the water, and literally, I mean, speaks for itself. <laughs> okay, so at this point, guys, watch this, watch this. Watch the amount of fish that are about to go onto land. All you do here is run across, back and forth. And fish are going to just start flying onto the land, freaking out, killing themselves. And you are literally just going to have to pick them all up. And by the time you're done with this, you're going to have a full inventory of fish. So here we go. Run across a few times and go and start picking up. So we got largemouth bass right here. These are good. Those are worth good money. I see we've got some fish over here as well. Let's pick these up. We've got some redfin pickerels on, on the land. You should eagle eye if you're having uh, trouble finding where they're at. But, I mean, it should be pretty easy, guys. We got more over here. Another redfin pickerel. Let's run through again, guys. Literally, just keep running through back and forth till you have the amount of fish that you want. You guys are going to be stocked up. This method is crazy. I don't understand some of these things, man. I know a lot of people in the comments will probably say, Well, oh, I could just fish with my special lord. Such good money. I mean, for me, and personally, that gets pretty dang boring. Oh, rock bass. Here we go. It's very tedious. It's not that enjoyable for me. I personally enjoy these goofy weird ways to make money These weird exotic fishing methods that don't make sense and fish like this to start swimming up on the land This this stuff's pretty cool to me. I enjoy this over fishing as I've done that many many times It gets boring over time But yeah guys, it's gonna be pretty much an unlimited amount of fish in this small little pond and it's in an isolated area it Makes it super easy. Oh my god. Just this is actually mind-blowing it's just like an endless amount of fish and you have to there's no work there's no if concentration there's no focusing you could just sit back you know run through the water over and over again and you're just gonna stock up on fish make money and the butchers is right down the street so this is super super easy way to make money now it might not be the most efficient but it definitely is worth your guys time and it's definitely worth checking out because you will make some good money off this and i believe this is a lot quicker than fishing in my opinion now, of course, this would actually be a good spot to do those dynamite challenges or awards that I showed you guys in a different video where basically you get XP for blown up fishes. This would be the perfect spot for that. You could probably bang that out in one dynamite. 
All right, so here's the hunting award I was talking about, guys. Right here, I took off my webcam so you guys could see. It's the hunting award, and basically, you just have to blow up 20 animals, and you get gold nuggets and a ton of XP, so it's definitely worth your time. And after each time, you can reset it 10 times. So you might as well do this at this location as well if you guys are looking for some XP on top of some money. Here we go. We got another bass popping up. These are good money right here. So we've only been here for a little bit so far. Let's see what we have up till this point. It looks like we have a wide variety of fish so far. We got a largemouth bass, four of them already. Pretty much maxed out on the pickerels already. There's a lot of them in this uh, little pond, creek, river, whatever this thing is. We've got nine of those. We got some bluegills, some rock bass, and we got some chained pickerels. So these are the five types of fish you guys can expect to get here. If we get any more, I'll show you guys for sure. All right, so here's what I'm going to do, guys. We're going to time this. This is what the fish I have right now, so remember that. Now let's look at what time it is in-game. It's about, what is this, 3... 340 almost so i'm gonna go for a little bit we'll check the time again and you guys can compare how much time it took us to get the amount of fish that i will have in my inventory then so here we go let's get to working all right so let's check the time now guys there's been a lot of fish i actually got that i already maxed out on so let's see what it is it is now it's been it's now four five it's like five now so it's only been like one and a half in-game hours which is not a lot of time at all as you can see, there's still more fish, but I'm pretty sure I'm maxed out on red fins already. Let's pick them up, and let's see what I got in my inventory. Now, if we look at my inventory, we now have six largemouth bass. We're maxed out on the red fins. We got three bluegills. We got four rock bass and seven chain pickerels. So we got a lot of fish in that short period of time. Definitely, definitely useful. I think, what is that? It's a minute per in-game hour or something like that? You guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but it's definitely not a lot of time. Oh, I even missed one over here. We got another rock bass. Let's grab this boy. So here's what I'm going to do. See, we got a lot of the fish that are already in there. So let me actually show you guys. Let's see if this actually really works, this method I was talking about. So let's take out my fishing rod. Let's cast the lake lure in. Once it's in, let's just reel this one up. Let's switch to our river lure. And we'll cast this one in as well. So here we go. There's the river lure. Now let's see if fish start spawning in like this. And wow, there we go. So it actually, guys, it looks like after every time you clear out a full batch, as soon as you take out your fish rod and do the whole thing over again, a whole new wave just spawns right in. As you guys saw, as I picked up that last fish right here, a whole new batch literally just simultaneously spawned in. So this literally is an unlimited fish spawner, guys. You can come here. There's a whole bunch of bass, which are actually very useful. So what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to get the last of these fish. So we've got bass right here. They're just swimming right on the land. It's... This is <laughs> this is just mind blowing of how easy this is. So let me grab these. I'm gonna get a full batch of fish. We'll go back to the butchers and I'll show you guys the overall price that we get for all these fish. But it does look like this time we lucked out big time. We got like a full batch of straight up bass, which as you guys know are a lot more expensive than the smaller fish. I mean I'm literally gonna have the max amount of bass within seconds. Every time I go through the lake, more just swim up on the land. I mean, I think it's fair to argue this actually may be better than fishing, guys. Because if we're getting a fish every time we simply run across, compare that to the time it takes to actually cast out, reel in, and catch a fish. I think this is more efficient. All right, so here's what we got. Pretty good load after only a short amount of time that we're here. I'm going to head on into the butchers, show you guys what kind of money we get with this, and then you guys can go and try on your own. So let's get that going. So here we are at the butchers, and right off the bat, we have all these fish to sell. So the largemouth bass are $2 each. Very, very good money. That's $20 in total. Easy money, boys. Sell those. Of course, we got the red fin pickles, a dollar each, 10 bucks. So already we're at $30 and pff, little to no effort. All right, we got the bluegill, 75 cents each, $2.25. So that's $32.25 so far, plus seven bucks for the seven chain pickles we got. So that's $39.25 plus the $6 we got here from the rock bass. It's like, what, $45.25 just like that? And it's super easy, little to no effort. And I didn't even get a full batch. If I got a full batch, that would be closer to, I don't know, 50, 60 range, guys? Would you guys say that? But as you guys saw there, that's about as easy as it gets. Super easy way to make money, and it's real close to the butchers, guys. Highly efficient, so I would recommend that you give it a try. Check it out. If you don't enjoy it, then just fish normally. You know, do what you want to do at the end of the day. But other than that, guys, if it was helpful, drop a like down the video and comment down below what you think of this area or if there's other areas that this kind of technique works in. I'm sure there probably is. We just have to seek them out. But uh, other than that, guys, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time for a brand new video. Peace.